everyone, Cliff Baldrige here. It's the Armed Forces Jam first ever 2021 simulation and gaming hackathon in Orlando. And I'm in the hackathon remote with my engineer, developer, co-creator, partner, Kendra Kennedy. So in one minute, here's the project. We have an incredible project called Cyber Dominance EEG Mind Control. And within a 48 hour span, me doing the project managing and us doing the engineering together in the creation, we have completed an app, a VR app for training all of our soldiers in the military. And what, how we're gonna do that is with Oculus Quest 2, and we've created an app where the soldiers can have fun playing a game where they can actually control the VR game with our prototype EEG headset that uses the visual cortex on the back here on my head. It's the size and weight of an Oreo cookie and I can fit it to a hat or the back of the Oculus 2 device. I put the Oculus Quest 2 on and then uh, we can launch the game and we have the APK, the Android APK done and uploaded and that will actually open up a main screen which we can launch the game and we can actually launch the game by using the mind and the EEG headset however because we don't have you having this prototype EEG uh, visual cortex hardware we cannot show you the game because you won't be able to open it so we also have it where you can click next and you can get in from the main screen where I would actually open the uh, welcome screen to the main game here. So I just wanted to show you right here that we have when you enter the main screen of the game, we have a great woman that's a, a, a soldier model of the future. We're showing Space Force, and that is uh, basically we're giving instructions on cyber threats and what to avoid. So spoofing is one cyber threat. So in the Space Force, we need to be concerned about spoofing. Don't get spoofed. And then there's a uh, text info there on how to, on on why people are get on why people are getting spoofed because they're getting spoofed because they're calling the actual phone numbers of the Department of Defense, and those numbers are getting spoofed. And so uh, you don't want to provide false information or give money. So we're providing that information in a fun game in a VR game that you can actually play the game the soldiers with their brain in a VR headset and do all the controlling because they're hitting image icon targets within this game in order to play the game. Uh, that's the navigation in order to go through the game with this. The second part of this project is, and I'm showing you this now, and I am have the APK and you'll be able to launch the APK and sideload it like we have it on side quest and side load it. We have it side load and playable here in the Oculus Quest. And this is really the foundation, the apps built and the levels built and the first scenes built. And we want to build this out to all the branches of the military so that each branch can have their own cyber training with an EEG headset as the controller, their controller. So they can have a fun game, learn all about cybersecurity and protection of their military and their soldiers for the protection of the military and the soldiers and their own personal protection. They can gain this knowledge and wisdom and these skills. And this can advance in all other areas of training where they can play games and learn by watching VR in the headset, well, by, by interacting in the VR headset with in gaming, in gamification, and also using the uh, mind control and the image target icons to actually navigate and control the playing field on VR. We can also make this in Magic Leap and Unreal, and we have a desktop version and a web version. So this can all be expanded out into enterprise training with VR training with EEG headset, basically. And then the second component of this is a second EEG headset up here, which allows me to get real-time brainwave information data so that we could transfer that to robots or use for analysis for machine learning and artificial intelligence. And also it allows me to uh, focus on a, a cloud interface, which I have, and then I created a 
motor imagery training. So when I think of my pinky, it's a trigger. And then I have a uh, two different statistical chart visualizations that allows you to focus in to think and then to see the confidence level of that being graphed and also focus and calmness, which will help PTSD soldiers and veterans. So we can use EEG to not only collect data, mind data, brainwave data, and also record the brainwaves and then replay them eventually and also to transfer them to say robots. We can help the veterans and we can help the soldiers by making them calmer and making different skills so that we can utilize this EEG real-time brainwave technology and then graph that out so they can see the confidence of if they're getting calmer or if they're becoming more focused in a visual graph. And then the last part of this is that I have it connected with an API to Spotify so that you can connect this to Spotify. You can connect your, your you can connect your real-time brainwave you can connect your real-time brainwaves to Spotify and then you can select a song or a playlist and through the AI and the machine learning and Spotify's categorization and recommendation menu, it will pull out features of your brain and your brainwaves of at least 10 different categories so that it will actually automatically pick music for you to enhance your peak performance and make you feel better, make you a better soldier, make you a better veteran, make you enjoy music that you like to hear, and it's all just win-win. So going forward, uh, I'm really happy that we had this incredible time with Kendra Kennedy and myself. We work extremely hard doing 10 minute sprints throughout the entire weekend from Friday night with the concept, hammering it down, and all our goals, stretch goals, we've accomplished everything, and we'll be very thankful to the military and all our armed forces and Space Force, and also the uh, Armed Forces Gym and the Accelerator and everyone that's putting it on here. And we look forward to next year. It would be great if we could further fund this project. And so we do have Pitch Deck proposal, uh, working app and everything. And then I would could love to continue and work on this app with a great person, uh, Kendra Kennedy, who did an amazing job with the Unity engineering and the software development. And you know, you just can't do this kind of great work alone. So I'm very thankful of that. And now we can move on into the future and I can do more development and engineering with two different EEG headsets. And I was able to do a lot of debugging we had to work through in Unity and packages. We had to work through a lot of problems and getting the APKs out and the apps and connecting the um, Bluetooth of the EEG headsets to the laptops and uh, to make everything work. So, you know, there's a lot of work there. And I just wanna say, Thank you guys so much. You can connect to us on LinkedIn and you can see at uh, each our uh, proposal and we have the sample APK you can download and also this video is linking through YouTube. Have a great one. Take care and uh, congratulations to the winners in advance and I think everyone's a winner at this event. And I think that the military and the government and uh, private business should support us and people like me who want to bring innovative products and technologies that are years in advance of the public uh, to the military and then eventually to industry and to consumers and enterprise. Thank you. And here I am wearing both headsets and as you can see there's the real-time brainwave data coming in. It's coming off my head. I have my real-time EEG brainwave data coming in right now then I can do motor imagery training and control objects, communicate, and I do PTSD and de-stressing and peak performance work training in real time with this. It's incredible.